Cop busted on the scam showing his penis, arrested for raping a boy in Burger King bathroom Newton, New Jersey. New Jersey police officer Jason R. Miller was arrested in 2014 after he was caught on video exposing himself to motorists at traffic stops. Because of his police officer status, Miller was let off with a slap on the wrist and now he's struck again. This time, he stands accused of sexually assaulting a child in a Burger King bathroom. The original charges in 2014 were backed up by the police department's own dash cam footage, which clearly showed Officer Miller exposing himself to people at traffic stops. In 2014, Miller received multiple charges, including two counts of second-degree official misconduct, one count of third-degree pattern of official misconduct and the disorderly person's offense of lewdness. However, this obvious sexual predator was allowed to continue to pray because his police officer status granted him special privileges during his prosecution. According to NJ.com, Miller was allowed to resign from the force in 2015 after pleading guilty to tampering with records, and was sentenced to probation. As part of the agreement, charges of official misconduct and lewdness stemming from the motor vehicle stops were dismissed. However, the allegations Miller is facing now are far worse than flashing people his penis during traffic stops, and the Newton Police Department is partially responsible. Miller, once again, finds himself accused of multiple sex crimes including sexual assault, criminal sexual contact, criminal restraint and two counts of endangering the welfare of a child, according to the Sussex County Sheriff's Office website. Currently. Miller is in the Sussex County Jail on $200,000 bond. According to the complaint, and the surveillance camera videos inside the Burger King, Miller followed his alleged 16-year-old victim into the bathroom. This was contrary to what Miller told police, saying the pair walked into the bathroom together. According to the report on NJ.com, following the alleged assault Thursday, the Burger King manager followed Miller to his vehicle according to an affidavit obtained by New Jersey Advance Media, and New Jersey State Police were called. The boy told police that he was in the bathroom when Miller entered the room and placed his hand down the boy's pants. Miller allegedly then tried to force the teen to perform fellatio on him, according to the affidavit. Miller denied the allegations, telling police that he went into the bathroom at the same time and that the teen offered him oral sex. Also recorded on the surveillance camera was something very disturbing. Apparently, Miller's sexual urges to assault the 16-year-old boy were so strong that he left a 3-year-old toddler alone in the restaurant while he went to the bathroom for several minutes. The relationship between this child and Miller is unclear as it was not defined in the affidavit. However, the 3-year-old was in Miller's care at the time. Anthony Iacullo Miller's attorney said, Jason vehemently denies the allegations contained in the criminal complaints against him. However, his past makes this denial hard to believe. Image, http colon slash slash pixel dot watch slash qut7 Miller should have been a registered sex offender and he should have been put in jail for abusing his police power to pull people over and show them his genitals. However, that did not happen. And because that did not happen, this boy's sexual assault is on the hands of Sussex County prosecutors and Superior Court Judge Thomas Critchley, who sentenced Miller. When asked about Miller's arrest, Newton Police Chief Michael Richards said, It's been over two years since the first hints of his proclivities were recognized and we then took swift action to remove him from the department and hold him criminally accountable. But this simply is not true. After Miller was arrested by his department, they dropped the charges against him for turning off the audio and video components of his patrol vehicle's dashboard camera system to conceal unprofessional and inappropriate conduct. Because these charges were dropped, Miller was allowed to strike again, this time in a far more grave manner. And so it goes, the blue privilege granted to officers throughout the United States allows criminal cops to walk almost guaranteeing a repeat offense.
Read more at http colon slash slash theffreethoughtproject.com slash cop dash busted dash dash cam dash penis dash sexual dash assault dash burger dash king slash pound sign age 3q5 vhz2ja.99